I'm going to show you my new display case. It just arrived in the mail and we're also going to make some cupcakes. So this is what it will look like. It is four shelves. It has two side pieces and a back piece. I ordered it up for Etsy to speed up my setup time at craft shows. This is the Etsy shop where I ordered it. Portable tabletop displays. And this is a Canadian shop. Before we start, got to get Jenkins out of the way. Jenkins, Jenkins, could mommy have her package? Jenkins, could mommy have her package? Excuse me, that's mine. He's so selfish. Okay, so got Jenkins out of the way, got the parcel out of its packaging, great packaging in awesome shape. So this is what it will look like when I'm done. It is a very nice unfinished wood. I can stain it or paint it if I want. However, for the farmer's market, I like the look of it natural. So this is going to take my setup time from an hour to about 10 minutes, which this summer is all I have. I'll arrive at the farmer's market five minutes before it starts. So I need to put out a tablecloth, set up these shelves, set up my soaps and my nested dolls and get ready to sell. Five to 10. So let's time me, see how I do. Well, that was fun. So you can see I took my time down to less than a minute to get those shelves up. I'm going to make some cupcakes. I'm using a chocolate fragrance oil from Sapphire Blue and a black cherry fragrance oil from Candora Soap. The chocolate will be on the bottom and the cherry is for my topping. This cherry fragrance oil does not discolor. I have some colored balls. I have gold, purple, red, and here I have some new pinky purple ones. Uh, these actually ended up being the ones I used the most of because I just wanted to get started and see which one looked the best. Here is my titanium dioxide and I'm using a neon pink, a bright purple, and a neon orange colored. So I just, I wanted to do some striping. I've got three different piping bags and piping tips so I can do multiple colors. And I want to stripe the top. Here's my lye water, checking the temperatures. We're at 89 degrees on the oils. This is Fahrenheit. And what do we have in the lye water? 89 degrees in the lye water, so we're perfect. Light temperature, so I'm looking at to, to make sure all the lye is dissolved. Looks good. There we go. Pulling out some, sometimes you have little specks that didn't quite dissolve. I like to just, you can either strain them, you see lots of people strain their lye water. I like to just kind of fish out any solidified specks, give it a stir. Make sure you've got good quality lye and distilled water. The lye I'm using is from a soap supply company in Edmonton called Eden Creations. And for a while I used, I ran out of lye and I tried flaked lye. This is a powdered lye that I use and it just wasn't the same and it never dissolved as nicely as this lye. 
So I should be ready to go now. We're going to add the lye water to the oils. Got my stick blender ready. Put on some safety gloves there and long sleeves. And I like to blend up my oils before I add the lye, just to make sure it's all dissolved and blended. This was quite a cold temperature, 89 degrees Fahrenheit. So I like to give it a blast with the stick blender there before I pour in that lye water. Now it looks good. And we're gonna pour that in there. There, and I've set it aside somewhere safe. Remember, I have kitty cats, so I never ever leave lye water or lye milk or anything where I don't see it. If I don't have it sitting there, it is rinsed and put in the dishwasher right away. And um, or I sometimes I in the winter I might have it on the porch to cool. Um, I have indoor cats, so make sure you keep lye water, lye milk away from kitties. So stick blending it up to emulsification and then we'll get ready to add the fragrances and colorants and make these cupcakes. Yeah. 
I'm ready to start piping now. This took about half an hour to 40 minutes for the piping, this soap to be ready for piping. Um, I, I don't know if you noticed, but when I made the colors, what I wanted to be purple was just darn ugly. I kept trying to save it and fix it and I uh, just gave up, moved on. Uh, purple's a tough one to get right. And you might notice there, I used the purple as the dollops in the middle. And I glob, I put some on the top of some of these cupcakes. I decided it was ugly and I would just use it up in a location where it's not seen as much. I'm doing orange next. I want to stripe the colors and get something just bright and fresh and pretty. The cherry fragrance is wonderful. It does not accelerate or decelerate or rice or seize or discolor. It's just, I love this black cherry fragrance. I'll definitely get this again. Especially for cupcake icing. I, I don't mind if the bottom of my cupcakes turn brown. That's kind of seems to me normal. So the chocolate fragrance oil will turn dark brown over time. I want my icing to be pretty bright colors. So this is a good choice, the black cherry. So finished up the orange and then next I'm going to move on to white. I wanted a contrast. So got as much orange out of there as I could. I've zipped up a touch of pink. I'm trying to get them equal. So when they're on display, they all look pretty similar. White is next. I got these uh, piping tips and bags at the dollar store for two dollars a set of extra tips and extra bags specifically I, I just wanted to be able to do multiple colors without doing all the cleanup so I saw that and thought this would be a good idea to try I could fill this bag up with white and just move on to pink right away without any delay so white, it, this tip is also a different tip. It's um, not the 1M, it's not the star. It's a bit, you can see there, it's a finer piping. Finally got some pink. I really, I was happy with how the pink color turned out. This is a pretty color. Exactly what I wanted, a nice bright pink. And this is the 1M your usual cupcake piping tip. So even on the this, when you purchase this tip, piping tip, it shows a cupcake on the packaging. So it's a classic, I suppose. Finishing my white layer. And finally, the pink. And then we'll top it off with some pretty balls on top. What these are in is a silicone mold and they are just from the baking section of the store for making usual your usual baked cupcakes and it works well for soap cupcakes they're very strong you know i'm trying to get the very every little bit of soap i can out of there You might notice that one there I was trying to fix. Here, I decided it was ugly. You see, I dumped it all. <laughs> I dumped it all in that bag. I just, I judged that one to be ugly. And I just piped it all out as one shot. That one's not striped anymore. 
it's a little bit different. So now I need to take off my gloves. I find a very difficult time. It's not only that it's awkward to put on these and these toppings with the gloves, but there's soap on the gloves. So I just take them off. I'm very careful with my bare fingers. And there you go. My soap cupcakes. See you when we unmold them. Okay, so what we have, that kind of stick in here. The bottom of the cupcake is chocolate, and the top of the cup cupcake is cherry, and they've been sitting for five days. And to unmold them, you just gently pull this silicone liner away. And it's firm enough to hold by the icing. Get some pressure on the bottom. There we go. So this is clear right now. Over time, it is going to become as dark as this one. Dark brown. But that becomes with, with exposure to air. So this one's good. One cherry. The topping won't change. Mm -hmm. you want to open one? one so again. what I also discovered that one just peeled off easy here's what they look like the purple layer looked very ugly when I made it so what I've discovered is this purple coloring might look ugly when you mix it up, but then when you unmold it later, it looks like what you wanted. If you uh, just turn them inside just, out, they come out really easy. Yeah? Just oh. don't worry too much about the silicone and no. oh, the silicone flip just her inside out. You can totally reverse it. Mm-hmm. So they all have purple tops except for this one, which has a red top. Because I ran out of purple ones. Yes, you're right, it looks pretty easy to just pull. Now you're ready to work in our soap cupcake factory. Do we have a soap cupcake factory? We will. We will. We okay. will. This one's stuck to the that's just soap that was stuck. So I tried to, this one is all one color because it did not look pretty. So I redid it, just one color. See the layering? I wanted to have purple, orange, white, and pink, but my purple was hideously ugly. That's kind of my best one, I think. You pick up which one's the best one. That one's nice. That one. Stylishly unique. <laughs> Not hideously ugly. <laughs> Some of them are hideously ugly. <laughs> it's just a cupcake. It's not like a sculpture work of art. They're all little sculpture work of arts. Yeah. That one's nice. I like this one right here. That one's kind of off-center. Yeah, but I like the way the but... icing sits. And the way it's it's uh, been piped. Oh, thanks, honey. And I think that one has a realistically looking cherry on top. So. Mm hmm Yeah. What's with the purple cherry? I think everyone will be happy with their cupcakes. Okay. And this is our update on the vanilla stabilizer. It's been I think ten days. 
So, so far this, this one is without vanilla stabilizer and this one is one with vanilla stabilizer. And so far 10 days later it worked. So we'll keep watching.